has to become better with fewer shootings. I mean, I think it's um, in the last 10 years, uh, one of the, the numbers I've seen is that uh, we're at a million people um, impacted by gun violence. You know, this year alone, I think we're already over 40,000 deaths. It's the number one cause of death for children under the age of 19. We're averaging two mass shootings a day. These acts of violence are preventable and that we all have a role in doing something about it, supporting legislation, but also just changing the way we engage in this issue and act when we see warning signs and signals. It was a decade ago that, you know, 26 people were killed in our school. And I think that realization is starting to hit us. Like 10 years, that's a long time. I feel like the farther and further we move away from it, the more I feel I'm scrambling to um, just remember. So I really just think that the way I'm going to cope with that is just making, you know, through people, kind of making sure I'm staying close with my best friend, making sure when I get, when I come home for breaks that I meet up with old teachers that I'm close with. I would like the visitor to this memorial to um, come away feeling uh, more peaceful and calm and hopefully uh, that the memorial itself and the plantings uh, that we've created here will give people some solace um, and um, comfort and a peaceful place to reflect on um, the tragedy at Sandy Hook and really, I think, on, on um, gun violence in this country.